Today we're going to back lap the Jacobson Super LF 1880 fairway mower. Um, we already back lapped it a couple of days ago and set the height of cut on it. But we just want to freshen it up a little bit. So instead of taking all the reels off, you may or may not know, but this is one trick that I like to do. This machine here has a switch here that will allow the reels to spin backwards. So I think you know what I'm getting at here is, now this is very unsafe to do, so you gotta be really careful when you're doing this because you are actually going to start the machine, get off of it while these wheels are spinning, and we are going to apply the compound to these while they back lap. The plus side of this is it's quick. You can get all the reels back lapped at once and then leave them running so then when you run your hose, they're all spinning and you can rinse them off. We're going to uh, fire this thing up, get those wheels engaged. Now, if you do have a machine that has the shutoff on the seat, you're going to have one or two options. Either A, somebody's got to sit on there the whole time while you do it, or B, which is never recommended, but disconnect the safety switch on the seat to do this. Again, that's not recommended, but this is what I do. It's a safety issue when you do that. And always remember to hook it back up. All right, let's get the back lapping. All right, the machine is started. This here is what normally engages your blades. But to get them to go backwards, push this in and down. That will allow those reels to spin backwards. Take my brush. And you just want to go around, you want to hit all the reels. Get them all back clapping at once. Very careful because these blades are spinning and it's spinning at a much higher speed than your back clapping machine normally would. So you can adjust your throttle to get it to a comfortable speed that you need. This first reel here, I was putting some compound on it and you should hear some type of friction, but I got nothing. Alright, so that means we're gonna have to shut that machine off and come back here and adjust these on each side. That reel is not making any contact at all. You can leave the machine on and do it that way until you hear the contact. So you'll hear it when you're adjusting because the reel is spinning. Or you can adjust it while it's off and then turn the machine on and see if it's too tight or too loose still or whatever. I normally leave the reel on, but it's very unsafe because you have this spinning in the back and that spinning so close to this bolt not that this would cut you but it's still it is a moving part and you should not have your hands there um, me personally i do it all the time but that's me and that's my own life my own hands i like to leave these the machine running and adjust these so as i'm adjusting i can hear when the contact starts but uh to be safe you can just do them now while it's off. We are going to loosen the bottom with a three eighths. And then you are going to just do a small nudge on the top. And we will go over to do the same thing on this side. Get on the bottom there to the right, loosen it. And then on the top, you're going to go to the right to tighten it. And you can kind of hear by your hand. Be careful with sticking your fingers in there too. We still don't have any contact, so that's not going to make any contact when it's spinning. So you want to repeat this process until you get some contact. And whatever you do on this side, do on the opposite side. 
and you keep doing that until you get your contact. There we go. Now I got nice contact. When I start this up, this reel is going to be screaming, but it's not too tight. But it's enough contact to get those blades nicely backlapped. I went around, I just adjusted them all a little bit, to give them a little bit more contact. And you can hear the, the difference now. That's really nice. You want to go around and hit them all again. All right, now that the back lapping is done, you can take the hose and just rinse them off really easy as all the reels are spinning. I uh, shut the machine off now just for audio purposes so you can hear me better. But we're gonna start the machine back up, get all the reels spinning, and you just rinse them all off uh, in one shot. And then that machine will be ready to go back into service. 